Hello. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the concept of the file hierarchy, which primarily discusses about the arrangement of files and directories and other content in the Linux or Unix type operating system. Though the concept is applicable to other operating systems also, every operating system is going to arrange their files and directories and content here and there. But uh, we are going to discuss about what Linux or Unix systems follows. Fine. Now, before we proceed into that, first, let's try to understand why exactly do we need this. So if you open your file manager or something in any operating system, not exactly specific to Linux or Unix, you're going to see a lot of files and directories. Like here, for example, I have opened the file manager over here and I'm on the top level directory, which is the root. It consists a lot of files and directories over here and each and every directory contain some other files and directories arranged into that. Now, the thing is that when we talk about an operating system, it consists of the operating system kernel itself. Then it has its own utilities, applications. There are a lot of commands. There are libraries. There are configuration files for the servers and other things that are there or even your applications. And finally, the operating system, whoever is using the user, single user or multi-user, they are going to have their data, which has to be stored somewhere. Now, obviously, when we are going to talk about Linux or Unix operating systems, specifically Linux type of operating systems where there are a lot of uh, distributions of Linux systems, fine. So there has to be some standardization as where the applications and programs should go. Now, we understand that if things are standardized, interoperability becomes much more easier. Like shifting from one distribution to another is going to be easier. Any application that is being developed for uh, Linux should be able to run on any of the distributions. So the primary idea is that we want to follow this particular file hierarchy system or some system. Now, this system has been adapted from some specifications, which we refer as the file hierarchy system. So you can go to the linuxfoundation.org and on this particular link, and you will find this guideline about the file hierarchy system where you will get the definition of each and every thing. Now, the primary purpose is to tell what minimum files and uh, folders or directories should be there. What content will go into which file and folder or file uh, directory where your configuration files will reside and so on. Now, when things are standardized, what happens is that applications or users or system administrators, they will, once they are accustomed to this particular standard, they will know what is where, fine. So generally what happens is you go across any Linux or Unix systems, they are usually following or they should be following this particular standard for the arrangement of your files and directories. That's the concept behind the file hierarchy system. 